a lot of people have not even heard of radiotherapy. And then when they have heard of it, they don't appreciate that it's, you know, like one of the main methods to cure cancer. What happens is the, um, the radiation um, is absorbed by the, the cancer. And then when it's absorbed by the cancer, the main mechanism in which it, it damages the DNA. So basically the cancer is um, then damaged and unable to repair itself. So basically that's how, that's how cancer is killed. The only person I've known affected by cancer is my auntie who's had breast cancer. She's okay now. <laughs> so I remember wanting to be an astronaut, which I kind of guess a lot of physicists... Yeah, I got close. Um, then I wanted to be in the Navy for a bit. Um, I don't know, I don't think I would have ever, I hate boats. And there's a lot of theories as to why people don't go into physics. I mean, I guess it's seen as a harder subject. I guess it was still seen that way when I was a kid as well. Like it wasn't seen as the, the glamorous, the biology was seen as not really interesting. You get to cut up frogs and stuff, you know, I mean, everyone's really excited by that. You don't, you know, running cars down uh, ramps is not um, that exciting. I think it's strange because, there, I mean, there is this discussion that there is a lack of female role models. Einstein, Newton, yeah, Raleigh, everyone. So all of those, all of these kind of models we use in physics, you know, I, you know, there's only Marie Curie that I can think of off the hat that, you know, is a female physicist, so there's definitely a lack. So she was kind of the mother of radiotherapy as well, but she was the first person to use radium to treat cancer. She would have just had a lump of radium, essentially. I mean, I guess they would have put it in a box and then expose the patient. So yeah, it would have been pretty basic. <laughs> I haven't had one of those massive breakthrough days where it's all gone really well, but I mean, I guess there's certain things that I'm proud of, if that makes sense. So um, I've done a lot of work setting up, helping to set up image protocols in, in trials, and that's filtered through um, to, to, you know, to make sure again that patients are getting the correct imaging and the correct treatment, and that's filtered through to national trials. And that has also then filtered on to, to treatment. So that's something that kind of very tangible that, you know, you can do something quite small, but it actually blossoms out to be a bigger thing. So, but yeah, no, I've not had a massive eureka moment. I'll tell you when I do. Click the videos to watch more Londoners and don't forget to subscribe.